Hello team and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you a powerful application called Zapier that lets you automate a variety of tasks. Zapier works by connecting different tools that don't normally integrate with each other and supports over 6,000 apps like Gmail, Slack, Microsoft Teams, and more. So as a quick example, you could set up an application so that when a row in Microsoft Excel shows as past due, an email alert is sent to your email of choice. On the Zapier homepage, you can get started by typing in your own prompt. You can also select one of the themes below, such as project management, and see prompt options listed for you. Under popular templates, you can select to browse all templates. You can also filter by most popular, and you'll see one of the cool options is that you can save Gmail attachments directly to Google Drive. And if you browse all templates, you'll see there's a variety of different options and app integrations you can establish. But to show you a real life example, let's again build that scenario where when a project row in Excel shows past due, I get an email alert. So I'll send this off. On the setup tab, you can see that Zapier has already connected to my Excel account with the trigger event being an updated row value. If I head to the configure tab, I want to ensure the correct workbook is loaded and I can load sheet one as the worksheet. And then for the trigger column, I would list project status. After selecting continue, I can test and make sure this will work correctly. Now, after loading the next two steps, Step two is going to be that I want Zapier to filter the Excel workbook. You can see that under the configure tab, I'm filtering for when text matches the text saying past due. And then in step number three, you can see my Outlook account has been linked with the action event being to send an email. Under the configure tab, you can list which email address it's coming from, as well as the emails it should be going to, and you can list multiple. Then you can include the subject and the body of the email. You can even include any attachments. And in the body of the email, if you click the plus sign, you can select your row in Excel and click it to ensure the specific project name that's passed to is also included. So now after I click test run, you can see I received my email alert. And now my automated solution has been established. And it's important to note that this will continue to run in the background unless you set it to stop. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos.